Mercedes have announced that they're likely going to switch the focus on the 2024's car sooner rather than later. And while that might be considered as bad news from their fans, the team has gone on to show exactly the opposite. Although the newest upgrade package introduced in Monaco and further expanded in Silverstone has been a nudge in the right direction, the team feels like there's a lot more to discover in the car, but that might not be possible in 2023. With this in mind and with Hamilton's efforts to lobby the FIA for the potential rule change for the car's development, are we going to see Mercedes compete in 2023 or have they already thrown the towel in the ring? Mercedes have started the 2023 season on a bad note, which is why the team was tempted to opt for a new design and an entirely new philosophy on the car. Furthermore, the Silver Arrows have had a bit of a rough patch with Lewis Hamilton due to him calling out the team for not listening when they should have, which might be one of the main reasons why the team has chosen to ditch the 2023 development sooner than anyone else apart from Red Bull. But again, this does not directly translate bad news for the team, as they have now set their eyes on the bigger prize, winning championships before 2026. Although it's evident that we'd have to wait for the 2026 regulations in order to see massive shakeup in the pecking order, as suggested by many F1 team bosses and principals, Mercedes might have a hidden ace in their sleeve and pull exactly what Verstappen did on them in 2021, a surprisingly fast car that will be developed in due time. Obviously, they are far from where they need to be in 2023, and although Barcelona has given us an initial promise that we're going to see Russell and Hamilton fight for race wins in 2023, the recent surge of McLaren and Ferrari has made this mission even further impossible. But that does not bother Wolf at all, as he announced that he does not care whether his team would finish second or third in the championship, as long as they're not winning at all, the ultimate goal for the next season. That is why very soon we might see the W14 being ditched, as it was labelled to be the Diva 2.0 from Toto Wolf, and therefore Mercedes would be heading into the 2024 campaign head-to-head -head with Red Bull, the only team to have started the development on the next year's car so far. When talking about this matter, Wolf went on to say, I think we will very soon switch to 2024, because we have no other choice. I thought Silverstone was the best chance for victory based on our hysterical performance, but that turned out to not be the case. Maybe there's another circuit where we have the best chance because the characteristics of the car have changed. We have to give the drivers a good car that is predictable and not the Diva 2.0. However, this does not mean that Mercedes are giving away the 2023 championship just like that and they will not fight for wins because from what we've seen in 2022, they still managed to have a very solid one-two finish in Brazil and threaten Ferrari to snatch the second place in the Constructors' Championship up until the last race in Abu Dhabi. Nonetheless, the upcoming venue in Hungary, the one in which Russell took his maiden pole position and was close to converting it to a victory had it not been for the bad luck pit stop and Verstappen's surge, is the race that will show Mercedes whether or not they've made a big step forward with the new front wing that was introduced in Hungary. Out of all parts that Mercedes have upgraded in the 2023 campaign so far, it seems like the front wing is the one that scratches the most heads back in Brackley, and Hungary, a track with high downforce requirements on the car, Will definitely serve as a very proper test as to whether or not the W14 is moving in the right direction. With the recent leap that McLaren did in Silverstone, it goes without saying that Hamilton and Russell should feel threatened in the championship, because it's still too early in the season, and if this trend continues in the upcoming races, then McLaren will have a proper shot at P2 sooner rather than later. Nonetheless, Hungary is the race that is now marked on Mercedes's calendars. And when talking about this matter, James Allison went on to say, we were all very hopeful of the step we were going to hopefully take. To our disappointment, it didn't take us that step, unfortunately. The new front wing, of course, it's designed to make us go faster. That's why we do all of our things. But the specific characteristics of this new front wing that we're excited about is it should improve the balance and performance of the car through the slower range of the corners. Now, Silverstone is famous for lots of things, but lots and lots of slow corners is not one of them. So. What we took as a comfort from Silverstone is that in the slower part of the track, we were looking pretty decently competitive. So that's a tick in the box for this new front wing. I guess it will only be when we get to Hungary, which is a track made up almost entirely of slower stuff that we'll get to know for sure. We must not forget that Mercedes finishing P2 and P3 is not a result that they would be satisfied with. And although teams that have been massively behind them, such as Ferrari and McLaren in the current part of the season would consider this as a success, this is not the story for the Silver Arrows. Anything below a win is considered a failure, and until they get to this point, there's definitely a lot of work to be done back in Brackley. What is a positive for Mercedes is that they have the never-tiring personality of Mick Schumacher, who's helping both drivers in the car's setup by staying late in the simulator and finding the perfect route for Hamilton and Russell. 
Both Brits have been very praiseful of the young German superstar, one that might make a return in one of Mercedes' affiliated teams if everything goes well in 2024 and an opportunity opens up. But right now, he's focused on making the team that his father once built to what it is today competitive again. And this is a mission that he's been doing quite fairly well on his side, to be honest. James Allison has continued to talk about the development that is yet to be unlocked from the modern day cars. And although many think that we are currently seeing the best of the best, and everyone below Verstappen changing positions is showing that as well, the ultimate goal is still to be first through the chequered flag, a process Allison believes would come at Mercedes sooner rather than later. When talking about this matter, the technical director went on to say, there's still plenty more development to come in these cars. All of the teams will, of course, be turning their attention to next year. And that will sort of defang all of us a little bit in terms of the rate at which we can improve our cars. But for each of us, and for us absolutely, there are improvements that we'd like to make on the current car that we'll know will also carry into next year. What Allison is trying to point at is the fact that in 2024, there isn't anything massive that's expecting us in terms of changing the regulations. Although this is a scenario that Hamilton has lobbied for very hard at the FIA. And for Mercedes to stop developing the 2023 car right now would be definitely a mistake on their end. Therefore, as Wolf said, the current process is being split on a 50-50 merit. And while Mercedes is already looking forward to 2024, they are still trying to boost the performance of the newest Diva that has been produced back in Brackley. One that Hamilton and Russell hope will get rid of very soon. But it is very unusual that Hamilton has asked the FIA to implement a rule in which the governing body of the sport will prevent other teams from working on next year's car prematurely, which would gain them an advantage for the upcoming season as well. This is a scenario that has happened continuously in Mercedes for the entirety of the turbo hybrid era minus the 2021 season, where Verstappen managed to shock the seven-time world champion, and it's a bit hypocritical to hope that you're going to be assisted by the governing body and not the engineers back in your factory to build a better car and beat the better team on pure merit. Even though Hamilton admitted that the Verstappen era has begun and we're all going to witness a boredom-filled period until 2026, or if the FIA decides to intervene earlier, I do not think that this is the case. And with how big of a leap McLaren has done in Silverstone, it's obvious that the solution for having a car similar to the RB19 is close and is hiding in plain sight. Therefore, with this in mind, the upcoming race in Hungary will provide Mercedes with crucial information about which direction they should take with the 2024's version of their car, and maybe even bless them with a win or two in 2023, so that the team would be able to continue the streak with at least one win in a season.